Okay, so let's have a look at this program. Um, it's quite long at 36 uh, lines, but a lot of it is HTML. So I've got over here we can see I've got the heading, a form that sends data to itself. HTML is stateless, which means that it's, it's not very good at holding on to um, variables when you click on the submit. So I'm going to write something here. And this form sends back to this page. Um, I'm going to write a, a second thing. And a third thing. And a fourth thing. Um, so you can see the strings that I've added are all concatenated here in a row. Let's see how we achieve that. So I've got my head. I've got a link to a style sheet, so it's a little prettier. Um, H4, got my heading. And now here's the PHP bit. Let's have a look at this block of PHP first. So I'm going to create a remember variable, an empty remember variable. Then I'm going to catch the um, two form elements, um, old text and new value, um, and place those into PHP variables called comments and incoming. So whenever I click on the submit button, um, two values are sent over to this page. Um, I'm going to check if the first word is please by um, exploding the string uh, and then looking at, so converting it into an array, convert the string into an array, then look at the first element of the array. The trim gets rid of the spaces to prevent them from being items in an array. Oops. Um, so if the first element is please, then print finish. Oh, let's put that in the photo. Please finish. Um, otherwise, um, echo print out what was typed in, um, and then remember is um, comment plus the incoming, and spit out what remember is. So it's going to print out the new concatenated string. And now the final bit, the form action, post to yourself. So send the data back to the same page. We're using post, not get which doesn't actually work on this AWS. Uh, I've got a label here. I've got a, a text box called new value where I type the stuff. And I've also got a hidden um, form element called old text where I stick remember in. So I'm passing, whenever I click on submit, not only am I sending the word you've put into the box, I'm also sending the current concatenated value of all this stuff. And that's the end of the form.